Good day everyone, MacWeezyP1 here, and welcome back to Cooking with MacWeezyP1. Now last time we did Udon Noodles, which was alright, difficulty wise, but tonight, tonight, it's gonna be a complicated one, let me tell you that. We are gonna do, be doing lasagna, and I think with a complicated recipe, we're gonna need to upgrade our standards. Ah, that's better. You wanna shut the f Anyway, I'm gonna be with you on this recipe to help out in every way I can because as you can see, I'm a chef, so I've done this before. Either way, here are the ingredients, here are the equipment needed for this, let's do this. First thing that we want to do is get our oven and preheat it to 190 degrees. After that, we're just gonna get our ingredients ready. All right, while the oven is heating up, uh, we're gonna have to prepare our ingredients before we start anything. Now, I like to get the cold stuff out of the way since we don't wanna leave it out in, in the open for too long. So first up, we're gonna need two cups of milk. This may not be enough. Yeah, that was a little way too much. Um, okay, I'll be right back. All right, now that we're back after um, clean, cleaning up, let's continue with the rest of this milk. Bombs away. Now we gotta get this stocking cup without spilling. Probably yeah, we did it for a cup. Now, pour in without spilling. Better. Out of the way, we gotta get our two tablespoons of butter. Now since we can't just scoop this right right off the block, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off a bit to equal a tablespoon because since two tablespoons equals 30 milliliters, 30 millimeters equals 30 milligrams, we're just gonna convert that to milligrams on a scale here. Now we're just gonna get the 30 grams of butter out of here. How's that for 30 grams? Nowhere near, okay. Nope. Surely that's enough. Nope. Ah, four grams off. Nope. There we go, 30. Needs half a cup of butter. Sorry, not a half a cup of butter, half a cup of parmesan cheese. Yeah, that's a half a cup. Now the last thing is butter. Why do we keep saying butter? It's plain flour. Jesus. Now we're gonna need two cups of plain flour. Alright, th those are our ingredients for the cheese sauce. Now we're just gonna store the cold stuff away while we move on to the stuff required for the meat sauce. Now the stuff for the meatball sauce. First thing we're gonna do with this bad boy here with the gu garlic is cr crush it. Before we do that, I'm gonna peel off the loose skin here, just like that. And then the cr crush is real simple. You just get a big, big knife and then, there we go, nice and crushed. And next, with our onion, onion here, we're just gonna have to um, chop it up. No dicing or anything like like that. Just good old fashioned chopping. And I have made the formidable mistake of leaning over the onions while I cut. Great. All right, now that now that everything is in its place, we can finally start with the actual cooking. Now, first thing we're gonna, gonna do with our meat sauce is we're gonna be sauteing the onion and ga garlic in here. While the heat gets turned up, we're gonna add some olive oil. Now that the oil is heating up nicely, I'm going to start adding our onions and garlics. The 
So basically we're going to be cooking this until they're all in a little soft thing. We're going to add the beef mince, put that, put that in there until it's browned. Then we're going to be adding our tomato based sauce. And once that's gone up to the boil, we're going to sim simmer it for 10 to 20 minutes. First person cooking. I just realized I made a mistake with the onions. Um, it said finely chopped. Not just chopped into rings. Ha, ha. Ha, oh, my lasagna is fucked. Then again, I'm gonna be a cooking with MacWeezy P1 if there wasn't some dumbass mistake just because I didn't read the full thing. All right, that's looking fully cooked. Now to add our sauce. Now we get the salt and pepper to taste. Fucking rock! Now we're just gonna let this bad boy simmer for a couple minutes. When I mean a couple, I mean 10 to 20. Now we're gonna get our cheese sauce ready. So, all right, first thing for the cheese sauce is we're gonna start this fire on a low heat. I'm gonna grab our butter. Grab that until it starts melting. Basically, get that to just melt all over. Okay, I don't know how. Okay, my vi camera just ran out of space, so I don't know how much of that video got lost. But basically, um, this cheese sauce has gone to shit. To recap, what we're do, what we're meant to be doing is, uh, we add the butter, we get the flour, we get the cheese, we get the milk. And we're meant to make a cheese sauce, apparently. But what it seems like I'm doing now is just making a fucking dough. As if I haven't um, fucked up this recipe enough already. Now we gotta lay layer the lasagna. First the sheet, then the um, meat sauce, cheese sauce, and then lasagna sheep. Repeat until this is on top. I think I have officially created the worst fucking lasagna in the goddamn world. Well, at least I know what to title this video now. I mean, it was going to be lasagna with MacWeezy P1. But now I know, but now I know the ti title for it. It will be called... How to not make a lasagna. Now we get this lasagna, and we're gonna bake this puppy for 20 minutes. Then, we're gonna remove the foil after those 20 minutes, and after those, um... <laughs> after we remove the foil after 20 minutes, cook for an additional 5 to 10 minutes, and see if it's um, edible for human consumption. Now we get our preheated oven that has been on for like the past hour and a fucking half. And we will be right back with the results. Now that the 20 minutes is over, I think it's time to do the reveal of this went good or not. Doesn't look too bad. <laughs> oh, not too bad. Just get this mozzarella off. How long is this gonna stretch for? I'm gonna be creating a spider web of mozzarella in this. There we go. Alright, now we're gonna let this open bake for five to ten minutes and then I'll rate it on how toxic it is to the human society to eat or if I should just feed it to my dog. That doesn't exist. Uh. Alright, we just finished the um, whole 20 minute process of getting the lasagna. I'm gonna say... It looks alright. Am I just gonna be reviewing the taste of this? We both are. Ah, oh, okay. Very cheesy. Mm. <laughs> you can really taste the cheese. Mm. Yeah, I like to feel more of the lasagna sheets. I feel like just eating mac and cheese. Yeah. 
Yeah, so it was really chasing. I wasn't expecting it to be quite that chasing. 